everyone. Today we're gonna do some seeding for the hydroponic greenhouse. Let's go. First of all, I'm gonna clean um, a few trays here. I do it in a Dawn soap solution to get them all cleaned off. You know, you wanna keep everything sanitized so you don't get any root diseases. Control tunnel and right here is the seed refrigerator and mom keeps the seeds in here because it really extends the shelf life. Okay so we're gonna do tap soy today so let me get that out for you. So I used to just throw all my seeds in there and they were a total mess. Well Crean came over my sister and got me totally organized. She bought all these little bins and made the letters for me so I have everything alphabetized. This makes it a little bit easier when you're going through the seeds. Now, are these the multi-seed oasis? Yep, that's all I buy. But I can even put single seeds in there. They put that paper in there so when you first open the box, you can get the cubes out without damaging them. They are very, very fragile. So that's where I keep my oasis. So now I'm going to take them out to the greenhouse and soak them down. Okay, so now we're ready to wet down the um, oasis patch. So I have my tray. I use one of my empty nursery channels. I found out that this works the best for me. Because you really want to make sure your oasis patch works. How fragile they are, I just broke it off. Yes. <laughs> that they are, um, if they're not all the way soaked through, you don't get a good germination. So I just want to push them down into the tray. Then, I think I would have a hose on this side. But I so I use my nutrient water because it's supposed to be pH correct, and this is just the easiest for me. So I just use my nutrient water. And I just start wetting down the the pad. And you can tell right now it's not totally soaked by the way the water is going that way. Or it sits on top of it. And then if you look at the side over here, let me show you how I open the side up. You see how it's not all the way soaked down in. Yeah. Even though I'm soaking it. So that you know you've got to make sure you really do a good job on this. Okay now you can tell it's starting to get more um, saturated. The way the water is starting to float on the top of the pad now. Okay, now this one's almost all the way saturated. Yeah, it just floats. Yep. This thing's I've observed after doing this. Okay, I'll show you on this. Yeah, see how the water's not floating across the top. No, it's just soaking right down in. Yep. You gotta make sure you get the corners really good too. So mom's got three nursery trays or channels and all this water will flow down and then it'll go this way and then into the return pipe right here and then mom likes to keep these extra trays on top of the um, spaces that aren't being used that way the algae doesn't grow on there okay so i don't like to see it out here in the greenhouse because you can tell it's very bright and gets warm and i do it during the day so i'm going to take these into the head house and that's where i do my seating so I put them into the salad trays. I use my cart so I get them all in at once. Bounce that third one on top. And ready to go. Okay, so I have my little seating thing. I saw that from the uh, spinach video. Yep. So I use my little uh, cedar here because I don't like to put the cap on it. I mean, it's a little bit easier because this I'm going to multi-seed because this is tat soy and I'd like to have a nice bunch of it when I harvest it. So I just pour my seeds in here. A little round little ball things that like to spill everywhere if you're not careful. Okay. And then the little trick that I do that works better for me is I use one of my little tag things and I just kind of roll the seeds down and I just kind of push them into each hole. About, I think it's about 10 to 12 seeds in each hole. Some get a little bit more, some get a little less. But Now do you seed these heavier for the winter as well? Yes, I do. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
ready to uh, put this one out into the control tunnel. It's all done, um, seated. Hopefully I didn't miss any because I've done that before. So now we get it out in the control tunnel. I keep it out here in the control tunnel because I regulate the heat in here or the cool because the greenhouse has too much of a fluctuation. You want to keep it pretty steady for the germination process. So that's why I do everything out here. And um, I like to put a little water on top just to seat the seeds. You don't want to flood it because they'll float out. And I found that water bottles with my fingers on top really help. There's that. And then I'm going to cover it up with a clean tray and I'll sit here. The, uh, being an Asian green, this will probably germinate in two days, three days, and then I'll go in the nurseries underneath the lights. And then it should be ready to um, plant out in the channels in about seven to ten days. Forgot something. Need to put my uh, tag on there. So for today's date, what the cultivar is. Marker in. Top. Okay. The only other thing you have to worry about with the Asian greens is because they grow so fast, the root system gets really long. And there's many times when you pull the channel out of the return pipe, part of the root system is in that channel. And then it gets into your nutrient tank and then it clogs everything up. So you really have to be careful with the uh, Asian greens. While mom's finishing up the third tray, I thought I'd give you an update on the uh, endive and it's got a lot of new growth on it. Still got a couple more weeks, but it's doing good. Hey, when I'm done, do you want to um, go in the greenhouse and get some spinach? Yes, I haven't had any yet. Oh, you haven't? Oh, I made spinach pizzas the other night. Yum. Here's the spinach. It's been growing pretty well, and mom and dad have already been cutting some off here and enjoying it, so now I get to get some. larger leaves to let the little ones grow longer because um, I can keep the spinach in the channel probably five to six weeks before it starts to bolt and so we can get a nice harvest off of it. What's this, your favorite thing to eat with your spinach? Anything like this morning I had a, a egg burrito with spinach on top of it. Um, like I made a spinach pizza your dad likes spinach salads, that's his favorite. Uh, put it in a smoothies for him. Just anything, how about you, what's your favorite? Honestly, just a salad, spinach salad. I do like it in my Ninja Blender too. Yeah, oh, it's in spinach omelets with tomato, but they don't have any tomatoes. That's one of my favorites. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. We have a really beautiful day, so we're gonna go play in the creek, and I'm gonna check the trail cameras too, so if there's anything neat on there, I'll put it at the end. Uh, be sure to subscribe, and thank you for watching. Well, that's